In game one, the success of the Detroit Pistons and coach Chuck Daly was evident in the smiling face of Joe Dumars. It was Dumars who had a big defensive night and contained the explosive Michael Jordan. The Pistons were able to hit on all cylinders as they drove to a one-game lead in the series. In game two, Michael Jordan was a study in determination. He would make Detroit pay dearly for its success in the opening encounter. Jordan was complimented by Sam Vincent, who picked up the offensive slack as the Bulls romped through the Silverdome to even the series at one game apiece. Now, Chicago has home court advantage in what now can be called a best of five series. Detroit has shown they can slow air Jordan down, but can they ground him? CBS Sports welcomes you to its coverage of the 1988 NBA playoffs. They began uh, yelling with great enthusiasm as the uh, national anthem got underway, and they haven't stopped since. Detroit 0-2 on the road, as you saw. Earl Strom will throw it up. Dave Corzine will jump with Bill Lambeer. Chicago ball. And they're going to jump on Corzine. Well, they had a stealing in attempt that time. The building is electric today. I mean, I don't think we can uh, emphasize that enough. <laughs> well, Chuck, oh. Chuck, Chuck Daly was telling us last night it's a tough place to win a game in. If you're the visiting team, it must be doubly so in this kind of it's, environment. It's today. tough to communicate with your club. Lambeer, top of the key, gives Detroit an early 2-0 lead. Well, Lambeer opened up game two, you know, scoring 14 points right off the bat, the first 14. Low post, back to Vincent, who hit 11 of his first 13 the other night. And opens up with his first basket this afternoon. That play right there is exactly what happened through the entire game, too. Anytime the ball went down inside, Vincent became open, and he knocked down the shots. Adrian Dantley misfires. Jordan rebound. Dantley's struggling a little bit now. You know, he's struggling game two because he slightly turned his ankle. Jordan does not get the roll. Rebound comes down in the hands of Rick Mahorn. Isaiah Thomas over Vincent for two. You know, Vern, as we look at this, during the season, Detroit was able to come into this building and win two of the three ball games, And they were big, jammed houses and, you know, very tight. Oakley, that ties it up at four. Chuck Daly did say last night he thought one advantage that uh, Detroit had in those. Here's Thomas for two. And Detroit's on top. The fact that they played both of those, uh, got both of those wins right after the All-Star break when Michael Jordan was so tired. Oops, that had to be a travel. Yep. Good call that time by Elstrom. But Isaiah, a little shaken up. Vincent had no place to go off the dribble and came right into Thomas's chest that time. Chicago averaging just uh, over 12 turnovers per game. Just underway. 10.25 to go opening quarter. Uh-oh, there's a fight right there. Fight. Lambeer, Lambeer and Jordan. Yes, indeed. There are punches thrown. Oakley was coming to the defense of Michael Jordan that time. This all happened down right around the foul line area. Lambeer and Jordan uh, definitely landed some shots here. Daly and Collins are both on the court. Well, this is going to be a big decision by the referee. Chuck Daly is all over Earl Strom. Earl Strom is uh, extremely emphatic right now for Chuck Daly to get back to his bench. Technical foul. Let's see who he calls it on now, which way he's going to go. Daly very, very upset. One of them's got to go on Daly, I'm sure. Michael uh, Jordan gets a tee. How about that? Offensive foul on Bill Lambeer setting that pick on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan probably did not like the severity of, uh, of the forcefulness of the pick. Technical foul then on Michael Jordan, and we have Lambeer shooting the technical. Let's watch it again. Here's the pick and Lambeer's reaction. Uh, it's a moving pick here. See, Michael trying to get around the pick. Now you see, <laughs> well, the, all, all that is right there is uh, 
uh, a little bit of chicken fighting, I, I think, because I think if both guys really wanted to land in a blow, they could have. That shot, no. Corzine can't get the rebound. Oakley, Lambeer, uh -oh. watch out. Yes, sir. There's Mahorn yeah, into it. Is, yeah, well, this one right here. This has been building over an entire season with Mahorn and Oakley. Mahorn a little frustrated in the series right now because he has been struggling. He's 0 for 11 from the field, has not shot any foul shots, a little, little uptight. Uh, his playing time has been reduced. And Chuck Daly told us last night that he must. Now, these two guys are in one another. And both coaches know that they've got to get their ball clubs totally under control. You know, we've only played here less than two minutes, and we have two altercations. But you and I both know Oakley is one of the best rebounders in this league, number two behind Michael Cage. We also know that Rick Horn does not back off of anyone. Now, here we have right here loose ball. Now, they're going to show right here that they're not going to step back. Just a little flare that time. Oakley's not going to go away from the line. The technical foul was on Rick Mahorn. Free throw is good. And it's a 6-5 piston lead. This is not unexpected. I mean, this thing has been building, Hubie, as you said, for most of the season. Well, Chicago's a little sensitive early in the year about the incident that happened with Michael Jordan on the baseline. Joe Dumars, Joe Dumars gets the basket. Now we'll see a lot of open shots for Detroit. It's been evident throughout the series that any time they rotate the ball, they'll have three shots. Oakley short with a shot. Thomas on the run. Got a man in the wing right. Vincent got the ball. No foul. Traveling ball. Excellent defensive play by Sam Vincent. I think what we're seeing early is that Isaiah is trying to make something happen every time that he has the basketball. He's really attacking them and trying to penetrate and get into the lane. Well, good news if you're a Detroit fan, they've hit four of their first five field goals. Jordan for two, no. Chicago is two of six early on, and the Pistons have been just terribly cold. Now here's Oakley down court. Scotty Pippen saves it. Oh, bad Thomas pass by line. Pippen. Nice play. Joe Dumar. Joe Dumar is off the feed from Isaiah Thomas. Timeout, Doug Collins and the Chicago Bulls. As Detroit has opened up a 10-5 lead. Watch the steal and the feed from Thomas. Uh, excellent anticipation by Isaiah. Now watch as he takes Corzine to the rim. He knows that Corzine Z was going to go for the block or the physical punishment of taking them to the floor and not allowing him that layup. Now that's what we have seen in the previous two games here. It's a big surprise. 10-5 Detroit lead, 8.58 to go first quarter. 10 on the shot clock. Oakley tries to dish baseline to Pippen and it's taken away. That's the third Chicago turnover and they are not a team that turns it over a lot. Now here's your clear out. We see this all the time. Here, here comes your double team. Back to Thomas. Got it. Now that's what we're talking about at the top of the show. Detroit will get many, many open shots. Will they make them? They are averaging 38% of the two games against Chicago. That ball off Michael Jordan will be Detroit's inbound. That's a foul on Michael Jordan, a loose ball foul. You see, he, he tries to post up Ju Joe Dumars as much as possible, but here comes the double and triple teaming, which we're seeing. There was the grab by Michael. Thomas splits couple, gets it. Oh, he's on fire today. Now you can see it. This is his hometown. Every time he comes into this building, he wants to take things upon himself and create for the ball club. The Pistons hit seven of their first nine baskets and route to a nine-point lead, 14 to five, with eight to go in the first period of play. Of course, a doubleheader, Boston, Atlanta, game one, followed by the Lakers and Utah as Chuck Daly looks on. Well, Chuck Daly naturally very concerned. He's just hoping that the shooting slump is over. Pick and roll, Corzine spots up, really didn't roll. Almost stolen by Pippen. Here comes Detroit with a chance to go into a double-digit lead. Thomas has eight points early on. Guarded by Vincent. 
Here's Mahorn, who is 0 for 11. That's his first basket in the series. But you know, during this entire time, I've never seen him take a bad shot. That was an excellent shot for him. 11 point first period lead, seven and a half to go. Oakley, Corzine with a rebound. Bounce pass baseline Detroit off ball. of Oakley. It'll be Detroit's ball. Well, that was a tough catch that time. The ball bounced up a little too high and caught Oakley in the chest area. That's eight of ten from the field for the Pistons. Nice entry pass to Mahorn. And Jordan clears it. Well, what they're trying to do is to get Mahorn into the game from an offensive standpoint so that he'll continue to rebound and play strong physically. Sam Vincent. That's no good. And another Detroit rebound. They are winning every phase of the battle early on. Rebound 6-4 to four, Detroit. Taken away by Oakley. Over Lambeer. See, that time on that penetration, Vincent was grabbed right by the arm, right in the elbow area, as he went right past Isaiah Thomas. Unfortunately, both referees were blocked out that time. We have Corzine leaving now. Corzine out. Horace Grant, the rookie, is in. Clemson. Horace Grant has been playing excellent basketball. Jordan has yet to score. Dumars. Vincent, no. He's not as hot as he was in game two. Uh, but the shots are there. Joe Dumars. Long rebound in the arms of Oakley, who's been averaging 13 rebounds per game in the playoffs. That's his first today. Scotty Pippen. That brings the crowd back. 16 to 7 at 6.08 to go first quarter. See, if the Bulls will just move the basketball with Chris passing, once Detroit shows them the double team, they'll get plenty of open shots. They've got to keep the ball from being dribbled on the floor. How about the switch of Grant over on Thomas, and Thomas still penetrates. Grant saves it. See, Grant has been doing a yeoman's job on the boards, but he's also a shot blocking threat. Oakley. Lambeer with a rebound. Vincent looks over at Oakley and says, settle down, settle down. Well, it isn't like he's not getting good shots. Uh oh, right there, we got another foul on Mahorn. That time, as Oakley was trying to go down in there to a defensive standpoint, Rick Mahorn caught him and sent him right out of there, and Oakley complained right away. Watch in the uh, in the middle of the you know, here here comes Oakley coming down in here. There it is right there. You see, and Earl Strom did see it, and he made the call. Vincent passes on the shot. Horace Grant takes it, doesn't hit it. And again, nobody there to rebound for Chicago. Yeah, but how about the quick double teaming on Michael Jordan? He's catching the ball, and two guys are on him so quickly. Vincent and Oakley and now Grant are opening up for clear shots. Chicago, he'll be 3 of 13 from the field to start. Kick it back to Lambert. Excellent ball movement. See, we're seeing unselfish play at both ends of the floor. Now it just comes down to the ball clubs making the shot. Pippen and Dantley shoving each other. Who are they going to call? Well, Pippen didn't let him go. Uh, Pippen came right in and was bumping him as Dantley was trying to establish a post-up position. First foul on Pippen, second team foul. Another five minutes now to go first quarter. Adrian Dantley had only eight nice. in game two. Nice move. That was a beautiful ball head fake to get the defensive player up in the air and into the basket on a strong move by Adrian. Jordan down to the low post again. Pippen pops out across the baseline. Feeds it along the baseline, and Horace Grant gets two. See, Scotty Pippen can make a lot of things happen off the dribble for his club when the offense breaks down. Isaiah Thomas gives the fake once, goes up with a left hand, and Jordan clears it. This guy does a little bit of everything, doesn't he? <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> oh, he's one of the top rebounders in the series. Averaging 11 rebounds in this two-game series. There's a foul on me. Well, it's nice to see Sam Vincent get fouled, so he gets a chance to get to the foul line. Here's your nice head fake. There's a strong move by Sam. Good foul in this series. Like we said earlier, not too many people are going to make an uncontested layup. We have John Sally in the ballgame right now. 
replacing Rick Mahorn. So the front line has Dantley at small forward, Sally at big forward, Lambier at center for Detroit. Sam Vincent had 27 of those 31 in the first half, gets both free throws here, and that cuts the lead to seven. 350 to go, first quarter. 18-11 Detroit. And Chicago is still ice cold from the field. Detroit has cool, cooled off a little bit. The Pistons hit eight of their first 10 shots. Dantley, double team with Pippen. Here's your clear out. Five seconds. Back to Lambeer for three. Hopefully with another rebound. And Chicago's doing a better overall team defense right now, forcing the Pistons to play perimeter basketball, which is not a strong suit. Sally goes down to the double on Jordan. Oh, great pass. And they misfire. Here's Vinny Johnson, who's in the game for Detroit with Dumars. Two on two break. Double jump, jump ball. Whoa. That's two excellent defensive plays by Sam Vincent at that end. You'll see it on your replay. Now, Vinny Johnson here is looking, but he can't make a pass, so he takes it all away. How's that for defense? Beautiful move by Sam Vincent. Brad Sellers getting ready to end of the game now for Chicago. Sellers is in. Scotty Pippen will get a rest. Sellers has been the starter most of the year. Indeed, until game five of the Cleveland series. Sally back for Detroit. 18-11. Chuck Daly very concerned. Vinny Johnson in the two games only shooting 27% in this playoff series. Wants to get him started. Here's an open shot. Nice pass. Basket doesn't fall. See, as soon as Vinny comes in the game, Detroit will set a number of baseline screens for him. Blackman, and I'm way above the rim, demonstrating some serious hang time. Very serious. Do you know how I get up for my game? Do you know, do you know, do you know? That's right, Air Jordan, Air Jordan, Air Jordan. Mike, what's up? Oh, m money, money, why you want to do that to me? Why you leave me hanging? Come on, I got it. Oh, my! Mike, man. That's cold, man. If she right now, Chicago only four for 14 from the field with six turnovers. And Detroit, nine for 18 with three turnovers. Among the many problems the Pistons had in game two, they were absolutely horrid from the free throw line. They missed 19 free throws. They're 0 for 2 today. Here's Sally again. One of three. Well, Sally normally is not what we would call a great free throw shooter, but right now he's averaging right about usual 72, 73 percent. When's the last time you could recall almost nine minutes ago in the game at Jordan scoreless? He is so far. He's only taken two shots. Here's Sam Vincent. Rattles around, falls out, hit from Grant. See, Grant has been a major plus for them on the boards. He's right there, second leading rebounder with eight. And he's making a big contribution with the jump shot and on the offensive glass. There's Johnson off the pick, and again he misses. He's now seven of tw six of 23 in the series, making seven of 24. I know Detroit is happy to see him get that one. They want to get him off going early. Then he hit 44 percent from the field for the year, but he slumped off to 31 percent in the series with the Bullets. It's even worse in the two-game set here. Two minutes left in the quarter. 21-13. There's Sellers. Sally with a rebound for the Pistons. Detroit operates now with Johnson and Dumars. Sally, Adrian Dantley, and James Edwards. And here's Sally for two. If you've been noticing now, every penetration by Detroit, the forwards or center come up to pick them up high, and it's opening up the baseline for that little drop-off pass. Back to a 10-point margin. 95 seconds to go in first quarter. Look at Dumars. And the foul. Interesting what Chuck Daly said last night as we were watching Dumars, trying to tell Dumars how to defend Michael Jordan. He asked him to play him like the old Don Chaney style of, of defense. Well, he wants to, him to belly up on him as much as possible, but let me just say this. In game one, I have never seen Michael Jordan play for a half as well as Joe Dumars did in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Unfortunately, you're not just going to stop the man from scoring. Basket goes for Grant. 23-15. Grant was the 10th pick on the first round in the draft last year out of Clemson University. Now, not only is he an excellent shot blocker and rebounder, but a very, very good scorer. Grant off the bench, the leading Chicago scorer. There's Dantley for two more. Grant has six. Dantley now has four. Corzine, Grant, Sellers.
Jordan and Rory Sparrow has come into the lineup for Sam Vincent. Nice touch pass over to Brad Sellers. Good move. Rejected oh. by Sally. Great Lady. block. Here's Vinny Johnson. You'll see right down in here now that as Sellers goes defensive rotations by Detroit, they are very, very quick in getting to the open people. Johnson for two. As we look back over the seven games in the playoffs, uh, Vinny, Vinny Johnson only shooting 29% in seven games, and it's even affected him on the line where he set 72%. Got them both. It's a 12-point margin, largest of the first quarter. 27-15, final 30 seconds. Elston Turner has come into the ball game now defensively and almost throws it away. Sparrow saves it to Corzine. Five seconds. Bad passes. Right now, Chicago has a number of fellows who just came in the ball game because you have Sparrow and Turner in there at the guard position. And Sellers just came in a few minutes ago, so everyone's a little cold and out of sync. Seven turnovers, first quarter for Chicago. Seven. They've been averaging 12 and a half in the playoffs. There's James Edwards, who had a big fourth quarter Thursday night. Misses that shot. Dumars rebound. Taken away by Sellers. It's a two-on-two -two break. And that's the end of the quarter. 27-15 as Detroit hits 12 of 23. Chicago only six of its first 19 shots from the field. Jordan taking a breather right now. See, the, the percentage that it, the shooting percentage is low, but the shots are good open shots. Turner and Sparrow in the backcourt for the Bulls now. Grant along with Brad Sellers and Corzine, the rest of the lineup. Gargantley got caught coming over the top that time. He tried to beat Sellers to the low box area, and there was a collision. And we'll set the lineup as Dantley picks up his first foul for Detroit. They've got uh, at center James Edwards, Jerome Sally, Isaiah Thomas back in the lineup with Vinnie Johnson, and, and, and Adrian Dantley. And again, a rebound down to the arms of Dantley. Doug right now is trying to get as many combinations of the game as possible to see if he can strike with the right one. Let's get some points on the glass. Vinny Johnson. Quick outlet pass tipped away by Isaiah Thomas. In the West, of course, Dallas and Denver play later. Utah won last night. They lead the Lakers two games to one. Dallas and Denver next on CBS. That's going to be a good series. Oh, I like that series. Uh, and, and both teams struggled during the year trying to win on the opponent's floor. Here's Corzine. Foul by James Edwards. Edwards came over to Detroit from Phoenix February 25th. Had a career playoff high of 16 points in the fourth quarter the other night. Well, he did an excellent job. Chuck was struggling at the time. Couldn't get any low post play. Went to James and he really delivered for him. Corzine misses the first of two. He's scoreless here still. In the playoffs, Corzine shooting 71% from the line. That cuts it to 11, 27, 16. Now Sparrow picks up Isaiah Thomas, three-quarter court. Well, Rory Sparrow plays uh, Isaiah as well as any guard in the league. Dantley. Nice. Oh, what a move. <laughs> He has great patience. He can stay with that head fake as long as anyone has ever played the game. And then he'll give you the ball fake because very seldom you see Adrian take a bad shot. Corzine. Sellers awkwardly goes out for the rebound, then fouls in the backcourt. Frustration that time by Sellers. Watch the scores or he gets fouled. Always one of the four or five top foul shooting at 10 people in the league. Well, that fake plus the rebound and the foul got uh, Brad Sellers a spot next to Doug Collins on the bench. Scotty Pippen back in. Here's another clear out. Now Pippen on Bentley. It's good. See, he has the feel today because you can see they're trying to take away the lane on him, and he's giving you the lane dribble and then coming back on a reverse move for that fadeaway jump shot. 15-point edge at the 10-minute mark of the first half. 
Sparrow. The shots just aren't there, and that wasn't necessarily a great shot. No, he wasn't set that time. You could see that the rhythm was not in the release. The Bulls are 6 of 22 from the field. Here's your clear out. That's only Dantley's second miss. He's now 4 of 6 from the field. And this crowd getting a little restless now. They were so pumped at the start of the game. There's Pippen. Oh, get him. Oh. What a play. You know what I was going to say? He received that pass behind the backboard. And when he makes his move coming out, now watch a nice delivery by Sparrow. Now watch this. He is behind the board. He had to jump back in in order to get that shot off. Just a beautiful, beautiful release by Scottie Pippen. And then the ball grabs the rim. See, he's behind it. There it is, right there. That's a move he might have perfected in Central Arkansas. But I think he perfected it really here. Great city. It oh, really is fun. It's a beautiful city. We've caught three days of sunshine with yeah. this rare. <laughs> <laughs> and Pippen misses the free throw. So missed a chance for a three-point play. 31-18. 9.20 to go first half. How about this stat? The guards for Detroit, 7 of 13. The bull backcourt, 1 for 9. And Jordan is still scoreless. 0 for 3. Well, they're going to go to him right now. Get things going. Here comes a, a down pick. And a foul. Chuck Daly has put Vinnie Johnson on Michael Jordan. He's in for Adrian Dantley. Now, this unit with Lambeer, Rodman, and Sally one of the best offensive rebounding groups that we have in the NBA. Sam Vincent, Charles Oakley, set a double pick to free Jordan. They pick and roll instead on the uh, opposite side. And another turnover. That's nine Chicago turnovers. Thomas. Rodman gets the rebound. Ah, he's tough. He's very, very tough on the boards. Rodman and Pippen doing a little banging down to the baseline. Rodman is in the top five offensive rebounders in the league. And when you think about it, he only averages 26 minutes a game. Thomas with a great penetration. Oh, oh what a play. Oh, oh, oh. He just eased his way and picks. Now watch how he splits the double team as he comes down in here. Here's your double team. He splits it and then makes the little move to get off that baby hook shot. Thomas, the first player in double figures. Still has 10. Pippen with a rebound. And again, the Chicago crowd getting a little restless. Here's Jordan quickly to double team with Thomas. And he still hasn't fired, hasn't scored. Three on two. Johnson, all the way and up. Beautiful. That was a beautiful move by Vinnie Johnson because he cut in front of the defensive player so that he eliminated the shot block and it came right up on with the little right-handed hook. Now watch how he comes underneath. See, that just kind of made him hesitate and the push in the lower back. Johnson will shoot. Try and make it an 18-point lead. Foul shooting is still poor. At, at Chicago's offensive end of the ball, watch how quick Detroit, how they're getting to Michael Jordan. Two guys on him right away, so he must pass the basketball. They've switched out. There's another steal. Benny Johnson, three on two. Johnson, Rodman. Isaiah Thomas stolen by Grant. One pass too many. Here's Jordan. Bumps into Sally, comes back, half court offense. Good defense that time. The transition defense by Detroit. You can see all five guys are alert today. They're moving their feet. Jordan 0 for 4 from the field. Nice pass. Still hasn't scored. Oh, no. Dish pass underneath to Rodman. Dennis Rodman, who was 4 of 16 the other night. See, once again, the penetration in the lane. The back man comes up in double teams, and they drop it off to the guy on the baseline for the uncontested layup.
Nuggets, Mark Aguirre, and the talent-heavy Mavericks. The playoffs continue to rock. Next. NBA, Rodney McRae, Kevin McHale, Akeem Olajuwon, Michael Cooper, and the Defensive Player of the Year, Michael Jordan. Well, not only is Michael Jordan leading the league, number one in steals, but he has blocked, during the course of 82 games, 131 shots. That, that statistic is greater than 16 starting centers in the NBA. So, and then, he's one of the best rebounders on this basketball team, and people overlook all of this, and, and Doug Collins very high on Michael, and very happy for them that he did receive this award. John Paxson has come in now for the Bulls, so let's set their lineup again. Horace Grant, Paxson, Oakley, Jordan, and Corzine. Rick Mahorn back in the lineup for Detroit. And Corzine, they're now hitting less than 30%, 7 of 26 from the field. Well, it just isn't that they can't get the basketball to Michael Jordan. The other people just cannot make a shot. Lamb here for two. No! Bounces out. Oh, Oakley with a rebound coming up the Prudential at the half with James Brown. We'll go back to control room 43. James is on duty back in New York. Foul, Michael Jordan and uh, Mahorn got away with a little extracurricular shove. Oh, he sure did. Now that was a, when Michael Jordan catches the ball on the right side of the floor, he loves to go to the baseline. Now you'll see him blow right by Vinnie Johnson on the baseline here. And with the great jumping ability that he has, he tries to come up on the other side of the basket more times than that. That's the first point for Jordan. It comes with 6.31 to go in the first half. Now watch Mahorn with a little extra shove at the end of this play. There's your move. And then you had your little uh, altercation there. Michael Jordan averaging 11 foul shot attempts in the playoffs during the season, also averaged 11 per game. Vinny Johnson, quick move. Oh, yeah, He'll shoot a couple. What I like about this is Thomas, Rodman, Johnson, Lambeer, and Mahorn now for Detroit. Benny Johnson with eight points. That's good news for Chuck Daly. 19-point well, lead. Charlie Daly was very concerned about the offensive scoring potential of Rodman and Benny Johnson. Each of them both. Quick double team on the baseline. Now a triple. And Jordan is over five from the field. That was a frustrated move. He jumped right into everybody. Nice pass. Dandy pass. Two points Oakley off the assist from Jordan. It really looked like he was going to take that one all away and go for the shot himself. But he's such a great player and an unselfish player. He'll always give you somebody else an easier shot. If you're Doug Collins, you be and you want to get back into this, what's your goal between now and halftime? Well, everything has got to come from the defensive end. And, and unfortunately, you can't stop that. <laughs> That's from the deep corner behind the backboard. 41-22, Isaiah Thomas with 12 first half points. Jordan finally gets one to drop. Michael Jordan is one of six in the backcourt. Chicago, two of 13. He'll get it, Colin. The place will be on fire in the second half. They double down on Isaiah Thomas. Lambeer takes the jumper. Oakley with another rebound. That's his fourth. And you got a loose ball foul here on Rick Mahorn. Oh, they call it on Rodman for grabbing in from the rear. Uh, the way that Mahorn answered that look that time, I honestly thought it was on him. But you know what's interesting? Every time Oakley gets fouled today, he keeps calling to the referee. <laughs> I mean, it's terrific. It's like being in the union. You know what I mean? Hey, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dumars back in. Largest lead of the game has been 19. 504 to go first half, and the lead is now 16. Those of you who just joined us, Detroit hit eight of its first 10 shots, jumping out to a 16 to 5 lead, and they've not been in trouble since. Bantley down. 41 26, series tied, 1 and 1. Chuck Daly said last night it's their advantage in the home court. Now we got to go in and steal one. 
and we need to do it on Saturday. Rockman, boy, he's been in an awful shooting slump. Well, he's really straight. He's only shooting 27% in this series. Paxson pumps once and off balance for the jumper. Grant, Lambeer. Uh, they had him coming from out of bounds. On the initial jump where Grant kept that one alive, he landed out of bounds. And when he came back in, he was straddling the line when he touched that ball. 4.25 to go first half, 41-26. High pick and roll now. This is a spot up, it's not a roll. Lambeer spots up, gets the pass. Good ball movement to Dumars. See, that's there for them every time. Because you must double team Isaiah coming off the pick and roll. They kick it back to Lambeer. You make your first rotation, that opens up the second pass. At playoff time, you need two passes out of double teams. Dumars back guarding Jordan now. Horace Grant on the pass from Paxson. Four seconds. For Corzine gets it. They just need a little bit better ball movement with Chicago. They're trying to get the shot off of the first pass. It, against good defense, we said, make the second pass. Then things will open up for you. Here's that high pick and roll again. Same play. It's a spot up. It's not a roll. Thomas. Oakley with a foul. See, that's a smart player who can keep his dribble and, more important, keep his concentration on the rim. Now, you'll see, here he comes here off this high pick and spot up. Lambeer never rolls. He'll always go to the open spot. Now, here it is right here. He gets the contact, and now he has the concentration to keep the dribble and move back and take his shot. This has been Isaiah Thomas's ball game thus far. He's got 13 points. Adrian Bentley checks back in for Detroit, and he misses on the second free throw. Detroit really struggling once again from the foul line where they would be out with another five or six points added to this lead. Detroit six of 11 for the free throw line. Jordan with a foot fake over Dumars. Got it. See, if Michael Jordan gets the ball at the top of the circle, it's so hard to double team him. And from that area, Joe Dumars is left kind of naked playing in one-on-one. -on -one. Lambeer. Beautiful, beautiful ball movement. Lead back to 16 with 2.50 to go first half. The horn called on the foul. And again, he threw a little extra into the defensive assignment. Dead foul that time. He didn't want to get beat off the dribble, so he wanted to knock Michael Jordan out so that he would have a longer way to go to the basket. of 19 Chicago 3 of 50 well, all through the playoffs Michael Jordan is shooting over 90 percent on the foul line he's now got seven points in this game all in this quarter well when you add to it that he's 56 percent from the field you have very seldom you see him force or take a bad shot it seems when he elevates he has confidence in everything that he's going to release Near steal, Dantley double dribble. That was excellent defense that time by Oakley. He stayed with that loose ball, and he was able to get his hand in there. Adrian Dantley, a little miffed with that call, kind of felt that he was fouled from behind. I think he's a little miffed at Lambert, too, and he tried to talk to him, but Lambert turned and walked the other direction. Oh, oh what a pass. Oh, Dandy. Paxson is injured. Lead is down to 12. It was at 19. That was a great backdoor. Joe Dumars said Michael Jordan overplayed that time, and he just went without the ball. They cleared the backside. Here's that high pick and spot up. Jordan tips it out of bounds. Now, here is your move. There's your backdoor move. And with the great jumping ability that Michael has, he, he eliminates the rotation by Mahorn. Rory Sparrow has to replace Paxson, who's limping as he goes to the bench. And Mahorn goes out as John Sally comes in for Detroit. 2.05 to go first half. Two-man game. Here's your clear out for Adrian. Two minutes left. Lambeer. 
interesting that time. Dumars had Isaiah Thomas open in the right-hand corner. He faked that pass and came right back to Lambeer at the top of the circle. 145 remaining first half. Jordan goes left on Dumars, loses it. That's the 11th turnover now. We're talking about a team that was fourth in the league in fewest turnovers during the course of the season. Just that characteristic. Illegal defense right now. Right now, they caught uh, Oakley way down inside. And uh, any time that your player is above the top of the circle, the defensive player must be above the foul line area. Here's a clear out again. Bantley kicks it back to Lambeer, who's spotting up near the three-point line. Corzine controls for Chicago. See, the corner is wide open, though. If Detroit will just swing at that extra pass, the guy is standing by himself. Jordan cuts through left side, gets the pass from Sparrow, turns around, puts it up. No, Sally. Let go, let go, let go. Off of the... Uh... Oh, what a break. Oh, boy. Sally tried to rebound that with one hand as he was holding Grant with the other hand. <laughs> lead back to 14 after jumping out by 11 in the opening three minutes Detroit extended his lead to as many as 19 Sally with Corzine loses it oh no he lost said, it off to Corzine well Corzine's not arguing about it so the ball must have hit his foot as he went off the dribble James Brown coming up with a potential at the half and among the features how do you stop Michael Jordan Oh, yeah, they're catching there. Now, on that lob pass to the front of the rim, that's a design play to catch Sally coming to the front of the rim from out of bounds. And when he went up in the air, uh, the referees had it that Corzine stepped under him. You must give the player a, a room to land. Fourth team foul of the quarter. Sally goes to the free throw line. One of two today. Pistons are now 7 of 12. Now watch to the left of your screen. There's the back pick. There's the lob. And as he tried to come down, Corzine was underneath him. Gets them both. The lead is back to 16. Less than a minute to go first half. Oakley, double team by Thomas. Gets it back to Sparrow. Hits it. Well, Doug is, you know, manipulating Paxson, Vincent, Sparrow, hoping that one of the three guys will get his game together. We have 28 seconds for the quarter, 15 on the shot clock. Isaiah Thomas. Lambeer with a putback. They're just killing him with the offside people that become free as their men leave him to pick up Isaiah off the dribble in the lane. 10 seconds for the quarter. Jordan will shoot a couple. Chuck, Chuck Daly on his side, really all uptight because he honestly thought that Jordan jumped into the chest of the man. Free. Well, after setting an NBA record for most points in a five-game series, averaging 45 in that series, here's Pippen back in. Michael Jordan was held to 29 in the first game of this series. That sounds almost ludicrous to say he was held to 29, but... In this case, it's true. Yeah, but it's not shot attempts. All right, here we go now. Thomas. Woo! Oh, that was close. Jordan gets 12 all in this quarter, but his team trails by 14. That's the end of the first half with our score, Detroit 52. To the Prudential at the half. It's been a tough first half for Michael Jordan as his Chicago... Is having a great first half. He's got 13. Michael Jordan ineffective, but he's got 12. Yeah, now here we have Detroit coming out and trapping uh, Michael Jordan right at half court. See, they're going to force him to give up the basketball. Jordan with a jumper, no. Tip, no. Rebound, Rick Mahorn. See, Jordan has only had nine shots that half. Now, you remember, in the playoffs, he's averaging 28 shots a game. That's their biggest concern. Thomas with Vincent guarding him. Kicks it back to Adrian Dantley. Rebound, Sam Vincent. Corzine. 
Lambeer has it stolen away. Back to Vincent. Shot off balance. See, right now in the early going, Corzine is one for five, and Vincent is one for six. One for five and one for six. Two of your premier open shot guys that can hit that 15, 18 foot jump shot. Thomas, top of the key. Absolutely. Isaiah having a nice game. He's seven for 14 from the field, one for three from the line at 15 points. 54 38, 10 45 to go, third quarter. Largest lead in the game again was 19. There's another, oh, nearly another turnover. Now Mahorn almost uh, stole that one, got his hand on it. Joe Dumars, Mahorn, Thomas, Lambeer, and Adrian Dantley for Detroit. They want to go. Chuck Daly called this play. He wants Adrian with the ball. Beautiful. Oh, boy, Adrian right Dantley. by Scotty Pippen. See, the interesting thing is, is that Dantley has been taking that jump shot. Uh, quick 20-second timeout for Chicago. Right? And Denver has yet to win in Dallas this year in the regular season. This will be the first playoff game played down there. Same was true, of course, for... Dallas in Denver until they won game two the other night by four. Pippen back to Vincent. Dishes it off to Oakley. Nice strong move. A chance for three. I was going to say that the Detroit defense was excellent. For about 20 seconds here, they do a, a terrific job. Now here we have in the left side of your screen, Dumars and Jordan. There's your one pick for him. Here he comes off the ball. Now watch how they follow. He's chasing and chasing and chasing. But what you like about Michael Jordan is he never stops moving. Keep wondering if he's going to get tired because it's obvious at times late in the game his defender does. The guy played 40 minutes a game during the course of the season is averaging over 40 in the playoffs. Skip pass left side Dumars short Vincent tips it out on the run. It's a two on two Joe Vincent Lambeer clean block terrific play. Lambeer just timed that perfectly. See that's the advantage when you're out on the fast break of not laying it up on it to Sam Vincent 940 to go third quarter ah! Pippen no the crowd they're crying for somebody to step forward and take the pressure off this crowd came ready today first time of course the Bulls the playoffs in a long long time there's Lambeer no Jordan up over Dantley for the rebound Detroit has excellent transition defense Vincent, as hot as he was in game two, is as cold as he is today. Well, you know, going into it, the five previous games to that ball game, he was 11 for 44 from the field, and it all came because he strained his leg lifting weights. Dantley with the turnaround. Oakley with a nice, strong rebound. Boy, he's playing big. He is really playing big on the board. Nice dish from Vincent, and inexplicably, Jordan wasn't ready for it. Dumars at the other end for an easy two. Beautiful floater by Joe. Gave you the pump fake, showed you ball, brought it back, and then came back up off the glass. Chicago starting off cold again. He'll be there one of eight in this half. Make it two of nine. See, if Vincent can get going a little bit here, off the dribble especially, it will open up the passing lanes to Michael Jordan. Right now, Dumars doesn't have to worry because they can't beat their men off the dribble. Dumars off a pick set by Lambeer. On the line. Yeah, that was, uh, I'll tell you what, that was a very good call by Earl Strong from the rail. Rick Mahorn just really belted Oakley in the lower back and knocked him right out of bounds. Unfortunately for the baseline referee, Billy, uh, Billy Sar, he was watching where the ball was and didn't see it because Mahorn was three men out. That's the third foul on Mahorn. Pippen has three for Chicago. They are the only players with three fouls. Vincent. I tell you, Vincent a lot of credit. He's looking for his shot. Pippen from long range. Oakley, another good rebound. Beautiful. Pippen, nice off balance play. Lead is 13, 58, 45. All right, Charles Oakley is big on the glass. And then, not only that, but he has the presence to find the free man. Oakley with nine rebounds now. Here's your clear out. Corzine comes over to help out defensively. Thomas goes baseline, short with a shot. Pippen. 
Had a chance to cut the lead down to 11, which is as few as it's been since the first oh, quarter. Oh, yeah! Detroit, look at the Jordan move. Now watch as Michael Jordan comes at the bottom of your screen here, how he leaves the defensive man. Dumars was thinking that he had rotation help. Woo! Wow. Oh, oh. Watch the quickness that he pivots here. There it is right there. See, usually when a player catches that pass, he'll take a step out to the top. He caught it and reverse, reverse pivoted. Beautiful move by Michael. Jordan now with 14 points. You know, I think the fans are trying to make up for all their lack of cheering on that play. <laughs> <laughs> the lead is 11. This is as close as Chicago has been since the score was 16 to 5 with eight minutes to go in the first quarter. Eight seconds. There's that reverse. The tip, no. Corzine, no. Loose ball taken away by Vincent. Loose ball foul. Loose ball is right. Boy, that ball was kept alive. Five guys were in there. Doug Collins is really upset. He never thought that it was a loose ball foul on Vincent. Corzine is out right now. And into the ball game comes Grant. Time has been called while Collins erupts. Chevy. So you get six for 30 out of your pivot people. Now let's say that that guy Eaton had something to do with that. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Interesting, Michael Jordan chosen as defensive player of the year in the NBA. The runner-up was Eaton of Utah. And Mark Eaton tied for second team in that all defensive team we showed you in the first half. He did not make the first team. Six on the shot clock, shot good, Isaiah Thomas. That was interesting. Detroit went to an open floor called the passing game that time, and Chicago defensed it perfectly. It, it took an excellent one-on-one -on -one move by Isaiah. Jordan with Dumars again guarding him. Oakley. Oh. Yes! Oh, that was a prayer. See, Charles can make that outside shot. I know he, he's sporadic, but you cannot give him that 18 to 20 footer. He's not bashful. He'll take it every time. Lambeer spotting up. Bantley all the way it in. Bantley with 12 points now. See, most guys would have made that catch and taken a jump shot. Adrian Dantley wants to go down in the lane and get fouled and make a three-point play. Ball tipped away by John Sally, but uh, Pippen retrieves it. Pippen on the assist from Oakley. Well, Pippen's outside shooting has definitely improved in the second half of the season. He was struggling early before the All-Star break. 5.20 to go. Third quarter. Lead is 11. 62-51. Game number three of the series. Peter in their motion offense again. Dantley too strong. Pippen rebound. And a chance now for Chicago to get within a single-digit uh, margin. Jordan. No, sir. Under you're, five minutes. During this game, Adrian has really helped out on the boards. Both teams, interesting, have gone to open passing game. For three. Three. Scoops out. Lambert gets it back. Sally. Doug Collins is going crazy right now. He's yelling at Billy Saad, the back referee, because Sally grabbed the defensive player that time from the rear. Vincent couldn't get to that loose ball. It ends up in Detroit, and Sally scores. Huh. Now, it's funny for you and me, but not yeah. for Doug Collins. I don't think Doug would laugh. Yeah, right. Vincent fouled by Sally on the baseline, and then Lambeer as Doug continues to prowl in anger. Well, you see, when you're in this situation, you're trying to come back, you, you, you want every single call. You want a game to be refereed perfectly. Anytime you dribble baseline against Detroit, they're murder on you down there because even if you do make the catch, they, they penalize you by fouling you hard. Jordan gets the air ball from Oakley. 
Oakley's all up tight. Thought he got fouled. But uh, Michael Jordan and Oakley are the two best offensive rebounders on this team. Jordan has 16. Vinnie Johnson getting ready to re-enter the game for Detroit. Dantley. Rejected by Jordan, but a foul call prior to that. Uh, let's watch on tape Doug Collins reacting to the last play. See, he wants the foul for Oakley. See, but, but he didn't know this, that Oakley made the call at the same time, right? They had two. Unfortunately, uh, for, for uh, Chicago, they don't get the call, but then Michael Jordan comes through with a nice offensive ball. Sally. Eight of 14 at the line for, for Detroit. This is a team that hit 76% in the regular season. And had horrible problems in game two. 22 of 41. They get one of two here from John Sally. I think Oakley has to step back a little bit now because he's been complaining a little bit too much. I think he's on the verge of a technical. Lead is 12. Vincent dishes back to Scotty Pippen. Dantley comes out right in his face. Yes, he did. Belly right up. Jordan. Line drives it home. The lead is 10. This is as close as Chicago has been since the eight-minute mark of the first half. So you can't double-team Jordan when he's in the middle of the floor at the top of the circle without paying a big price. 3.25 to go. Third quarter, 65-55. Nice move by Dantley for two more. <laughs> Family with 14. He's playing a very intelligent offensive game today. He's giving and taking right from that defense. Reading it beautifully. Johnson and Thomas switch. Vincent fishes low. Pippen is open. Top of the key. Bantley with a foul. Golf returns next weekend on CBS. The third and fourth rounds of the Colonial National Invitation Golf Tournament from Fort Worth, Texas. That's live on CBS next Saturday and next Sunday. And we'll also have NBA action for you next week. Jordan. The, Pist the, the Pistons have four fouls now. Next one, Chicago shooting the penalty. 67-55. Jordan comes over to double team, clean block. Dantley then gets it, puts it back in. How's that for patience? I mean, he gave three pump fakes, waited, and finally got the defensive player up in the air and then came with that baby heart. Adrian has a lot. How's that for patience? I mean, he gave three pump fakes, waited, and finally got the defensive player up in the air and then came with that baby heart. Adrian has a lot of moves. Troy with the 14 fouls to say Chicago with two. Out of you. Vinny Johnson with a foul. That was a little, little bit dangerous that time because it wasn't a clear lob pass area for Jordan to cut. Now you'll see the ball is up in the right-hand corner of your screen. See there, they're looking for the lob right there. See, and Vinny Johnson played it intelligently. Bang his body and don't let him catch the ball. Throw line, Michael Jordan. Six of 15 for the field now, and he missed his first five shots, and there he misses a free throw. Walter Payton among those who's here. He's answered the bell a few times under pressure. Just a couple. <laughs> Just a couple. Right. 34, watch 23. At the conclusion of the game, Hubie and I will select the Miller Lite player of the game in conjunction with that award. Light Beer will present a check in the amount of $1,000 in the player's name of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. In the last two minutes of Chicago can just stay within their game plan and either get on the foul line or get a good shot attempt. They keep the floor open right now. Jordan over Johnson. Yes. They're nibbling back. They really are. 21 points now for Michael Jordan. But it's been a nice flow. They're getting good shots, and when they don't get the good shot, they're getting fouled and getting to the line. Johnson off the pick by Thomas. Goes baseline over Jordan. 
Offensive goaltending. Catching offensive goaltending that time. And uh, that was a very, very tough shot by Vinny Johnson. I didn't think that he had a prayer of making the shot. 71-58. 125 to go, third period. Vincent. Rodman gets the rebound. See, you don't need that shot because there's still 16, 18 seconds on the shot clock. You can get that shot after going down inside and kicking the ball out or even exhausting Michael Jordan two or three times. Lambeer to Vinnie Johnson. Back to Lambeer. Five seconds. Thomas got three from Vincent. See, Isaiah has made some big shots with one second or two seconds on the shot clock, and most of them have been from that right-hand corner. And the lead is back to 15. It was 14 at the half. Chicago cut it to 10. That's as close as they've been since the opening moments of the game. There's your double team. Rodman and Johnson on Jordan, Oakley. That was for two, and Lambert gets the rebound over Horace Grant. See, last two trips, two shots. And now a chance to get the lead back to 17 points. Now we have 20 seconds for the quarter. Seven on the shot clock. Skip. Chicago ball. Final 10 seconds, third period. We have Lambier uh, going out now. Rick Mahorn coming in. 10 seconds for the quarter. Jordan brings it up. No foul. Oh, my. There was no call, and watch Doug Collins go nuts. Yeah, Doug Collins is close right now, right in front of uh, Billy Sarr. And in the meantime, the quarter has expired. The clock is showing double, double zero up there right now. Now, there is your charge. That was a, a, a definite charge because he was there. Uh, he actually anticipated and jumped out and took the charge. But Doug Collins wanted a moving pick. That's the end of the quarter. We'll return to Chicago Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. That's what you have to do to stop this team. Oh, that's a great play. Lambert, a sensational play. Four court Isaiah. Bounce pass to Sally. He threw an alley oop off a bounce pass. Rebound is off the mini field. There goes Mullen. The pass is long. Great wrap around. Bounce pass. Score. Jackson with the ball. Oh, Oh, yeah. NBA action is fantastic. It's a sellout crowd on hand at Chicago's. Instead of this, a battle in the backcourts. Detroit, they are 16 of 31 shooting. And Chicago's backcourt, 30, 30%, 10 of 30 from the field. Thomas, short, Oakley with the rebound. See, you're seeing this weave and passing game at both ends of the floor. Now, it's eliminating the double teaming, and ma it's making it harder. But what's happening is the entire game is being played perimeter, and we're seeing no penetration and no low post play. Horace Grant. Oh. Sally and Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little shirt holding going on. <laughs> well, it's difficult to rebound when a guy's got your arm. <laughs> Rodman gets the basket. Yeah, it looked like they blew a defensive assignment there that time. Uh, Rodman is in at the small forward position for Dantley, and you have got to pick him up because he runs that outside lane really hard. 75-58. Detroit on a mini run now, 10-3. In the corner, Sam Vincent gets it to Grant for two. There you go. If you're going to play this type of offense, you must look down inside because everyone is being played honestly, man-to-man, -man, and if I shape up in there, get me the basketball. The guy's on my back. Sally cuts, dishes back to Vinnie Johnson, and he drives all the way and puts it in. The difference between the two teams is that Detroit can beat Chicago a little bit off the dribble. Chicago cannot penetrate off the dribble versus Detroit. All of a sudden, what had been a 10-point difference late in the third quarter is after 17 for Detroit. Johnson and Sally wants a jump ball. No continuation play. Basket counts. 
Sally is stunned. And, and, and so are all Detroit fans. That's right. All right. That was like a cue ball shot. Now, right now, we have Earl Strom down in there. Now, watch this move. Earl Strom and Chuck Daly are at it right now. But there is a... You, you can't have a, uh, a jump ball right there because he actually had him. But it all came about because Vinny Johnson knocked the ball out of Jordan's hand. Now, watch it right here. Now, watch. There it is. The ball becomes loose. Now they have it, but Jordan pulls it out of there. And watch it like a cue ball off the corner into the hole. That got Chuck Daly at midcourt. And almost got him a tee. Oh, it did. Earl Strom ran right over there, and uh, they had heated words. 77-63, 10 4 to go. Series tied, a game apiece. Game four here tomorrow, which we'll have for some of you on CBS. Now, Rory Sparrow coming back into the lineup for Chicago. With Vinny Johnson in the game, there is an awful lot of screening down on the baseline for him, and they try to get him going right away. Now Pippen is out, Sparrow in, so Vincent and Sparrow in the backcourt, and Jordan moves down, that shot is good. See, there it is again. The, the two times in a row now, they've run the same play. It's a staggered pick for him to the left of the uh, foul line area. Jordan sets up left side. Now he'll work the baseline. Sparrow. Oakley and Sally again, and Sally wins this one. See, even though Chicago is shooting so poorly, you would hope that they would get on the offensive boards with Detroit's limited in the one shot. That's got to be the brightest sign of the game for Chuck Daly is to see Vinny Johnson well, shooting this well. They call him microwave. You know, and when he comes in, you see it now three times in a row. They've gone right to him. And the Bulls call timeout, 9-13 remaining in the game. And look at Rodman was draped all over Michael Jordan. I mean... <laughs> Undressed him. So See, Rodman right? picks up his uh, third foul. This, this is a good matchup because in order for Michael, you know, to get free of Rodman, he's got to beat him off and be open, really open, because of Rodman's jumping ability and his quickness. He's got long arms. Thomas goes back and almost nice. takes it away from Grant and then blocks the shot. How about it? How about it? Isaiah Thomas, what a beautiful move. Good hustle. You know what I liked about that play? Rory Sparrow read that play perfectly. As soon as they switched, he took the big man out, put the ball right into Grant on a, on a smaller man. Unfortunately for him, though, the shot was blocked by another player. That's just good team defense. Jordan fights free along the baseline. Again, it's Rodman. He goes baseline. Can't get his ball. Loose ball Loose foul. Ball foul. Charles Oakley. See, when Michael Jordan goes to the baseline, watch in the left of your screen how they just keep him behind the backboard. Look at that. One, two, three guys. They keep him behind the board, and they're trying not to bump him on the shot. 8.20 remaining in the game. All right, here's your half-court trap. Sally just fires it up. He'll shoot. When you go to the half-court trap, your primary... Uh, idea your philosophy is to get them to shoot the jump shot preferably from the corner you do not want the ball to get into the middle of the floor Oakley's coming out right now and they have Turner Grant and Corzine up front right now you do not want the ball to get into the middle of the floor against the half court trap because when it's there it's easy to get to the rim that was the fourth foul on Oakley so he goes to the bench and Corzine comes in well, Charles Oakley has played a terrific game today. He, he's been a big man on the boards at both ends of the floor. He's hit some shots. Yeah, he's missed some open jump shots, but that's okay. He's been working extremely hard. The lead is 20. This is the biggest Detroit lead of the day. They had had leads of 19 three different times. And then Chicago fought back to within 10 at 65 55. Kenny Johnson is Mellon Rodman. He's telling Rodman, you know, stop this, you know, stop, stop complaining. Yeah. Now watch, now here's, here's what we got. We got a lot of bumping with the forearms. How about that for a pick? Now look at Rodman recover though, and he's still chasing Jordan. <laughs> There's Jordan's jumper. Too long, Corzine rebound. Nice Take it away. Yep, Isaiah Thomas. Back to Isaiah. Zeke shoves off Rory Sparrow. Mahorn takes the jumper. 
Battle underneath. Rodman misfires. Corzine tips it out. Here comes Jordan. Detroit back. One against four. Dishes no left. Elston Turner. Elston who doesn't Turner. score much. Well, Detroit looked at the referee that time and wanted a charge on Jordan when he elevated. Lead down to 18, 83, 65. All right, here's your trap. 1-3-1. One, one. The middle people must do a good job for you. And that's Corzine and the guy in the back, Grant. Ball thrown away. We're in Chicago Stadium, game three of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Series tied at the game apiece. Bird Lundquist along with Hubie Brown, 83-65 Detroit. They have had their way with Chicago today. Bill Lambeer checks back in for Detroit now. See, Detroit's defense have put them in a slow game. You know, you see now you say, hey, well, that was a nice score, but it took them a long time to get the shot off. Now, here comes the trap. It's out further now. 1-3-1. One, one. In the corner, Lambeer. That's it. If you spread the ball out and rotate the basketball, it, it, it forces them to tire, and you should get a pretty good shot there it is Lambeer that's it that's the answer 85 67 620 to go coming up next Dallas and Denver in the NBA game three of that series for Union Arena Rodman and Collins won the foul called on Dennis Rodman didn't get it Doug is on the sideline pleading his case Nice. Oh, what a dish. What a pass from Isaiah Thomas. He saw him out of the corner of his eye. Vinny Johnson was 10 feet behind him when he got to the top of that circle and just kept running hard knowing that Isaiah Thomas would make that pass. Doug is really hot. See, Doug is hot at the other end. There's a technical foul on Doug Collins, and he, he might get thrown out of this game right now. Uh, he, he, you know, it's, it's frustration. They wanted this one. More important, they wanted to play better basketball. Now, now you see up at the top of your screen, I, there he is right there. Now, he had to really motor to get that pass. Watch it from ground level. Left to Johnson. Johnson has 18 points on 7 of 10 shooting. Timeout. On the other hand, I You're want to wrong. point out to no, you, I can't wrong. Democrats and Republicans. I have beers at the free throw line. That's his second free throw today. He's one of two. Well, Doug Collins during the entire timeout was all over the referees and had to be restrained by the people on his bench. And he's he right now he's still chattering uh, with Billy Sarr. Lead at 21, 88-67, under six minutes to go in the ball game. Sparrow and Vincent now, as Jordan gets a rest. Michael on the bench with 24 points. Rodman with a rebound. Dennis Rodman turned 27 years old yesterday. That's his sixth rebound of the ball game. As we look back over the game, they, they've had all kinds of jump shots. Unfortunately, they are not a very good perimeter shooting team. Consistent perimeter mm -hmm. shooting team. Vinny Johnson has played extremely well today. That shot didn't fall. Rebound by Lambeer does. Now in game one and game two, Detroit averages 21 offensive rebounds a game. Today they didn't need it. They're shooting over 50%. Not that many misses. But now when you're trying to come back, boom, they knock it down on you. Sam Vincent, 2 of 10 from the field today. Just kind of symbolic of the way Chicago's day has gone. Pippen shot in front of the rim. Among the highlights next Saturday in the NBA, the 1988 NBA Draft Lottery. You'll see it live at halftime on Saturday from the Museum of Natural History in New York. Danny Manning going to be the first pick? We'll see next week. Well, I think that uh, Danny Manning is definitely going to be the number one pick in the draft, but it's interesting how many young men are dropping out at this time of college, and it, it, tonight is the deadline, so we'll see how many of them really come out. Sam Vincent. Sam Vincent gets the basket. Dapper Chuck Daly looking on. Well, he's, he's relieved. Uh, but it's like we said at the top of the show, they have won two out of three games in this building this year. 
So they're coming in here playing with confidence. They've done it here all through the season. 92-69 as Rodman gets two more. We're four and a half minutes away from the conclusion. Vincent, long rebound taken down by Pippen. How tough is it now, Hubie? They got to come back and play again tomorrow. Is that tougher on the visiting team or the home team? No, I think it's 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 very tough on the team that is behind. That was a beautiful lob pass that time to Rodman going to the front of the rim. But it, that is open, we say, from the corner out of the trapping situation if you do not cover the guy at the foul line going to the front of the rim. Six seconds. Sally has it blocked by Grant, and then Rodman puts it right back in. You see this half-court trap team. They're not getting any turnovers and then complicating the situation because they're not getting any rebounds either. And the lead is now 94-69. Mike Brown getting ready to check in for Chicago. See, when you play back-to-back -back games and you have a young ball club, you, now you know you can't practice between today and tomorrow afternoon. So now everything has to be done in talking to the team, showing them film, etc. Nice move by Vinny Johnson going to the hall. Once again, every time we see him in the open floor, he always gets his body into that defensive man and then says, hey, listen, try to block my shot. Now watch him cause the contact. See, boom, boom, right in, gets the contact, and now he takes you strong to the front of the rim. Now we've seen him do this three times today in the open floor. Johnson with 20 points and a chance to go to 21. And he had been in a horrid slump in the playoffs. Mike see, Brown is in. The experienced team has the advantage in back-to-back -back games. Mm -hmm. And Detroit has been in that situation. They're not going to change that many things. Uh, they've been in the playoff games. They've been to the finals at Eastern Conference last year, where basically Chicago is a young ball club. They've been out of the playoffs with these fellas here in the first round all the time. So where do they make their corrections? How do they work? If they don't work on it, they just do it verbally. That's a disadvantage. Shot clock at 10, back to Scotty Pippen. Rodman comes flying over him. Pippen shot, put back by Corzine. Michael Jordan has been on the bench for a while now, and he has scored 24 points. If we don't see him again, this will be his playoff low total in eight games with 24 points. He was held to 29 in game one of this series. That shot from James Edwards not there. Mike Brown, loose ball foul on Vinny Johnson. That's the uh, fourth for Detroit. 2.50 to go. Brad Sellers is coming back in the lineup. Timeout. A few words on the performing arts. Back into the lineup now for the Pistons. James Edwards also in. Mike Brown guarding Dumars. Five seconds. Back to Sally. Vinny Johnson has had a terrific ball game. He's got well, 23 game, points In game now. one now, Vinny Johnson had 12 rebounds, nine offensive rebounds, which were major in that win. So you can see two games now. He's made a big production in both games. They've been able to win it. Sparrow misfires, 99-73. Detroit has not been over 100 in the previous two games against Chicago. They're about to get there. But not on that shot. See, Chicago is not a three-point shooting team. In the playoffs, they're only averaging two three-point field goal attempts. So you're not going to come back that way. Now, it's a, a two-shot play right here. It's a bad, bad foul. Now, now watch Scottie Pippen come up here now and catch the glass. They're right there. I'm telling you, that, that, was, that was terrific. Brought back memories of Herman the Helicopter on the streets of New York. absolutely beautiful. Terrific. Because play. of the angle, his hands were right up against the glass, the back of his hands as he brought that ball right in. Nice move by Scotty Pippen. He's going to be a great player. This is the player picked in last year's NBA draft. There's Sally going to the bench. Pistons are up 2-1. Game four here tomorrow. See, we have two teams here, Vern, that do not shoot the three-point shot. One team has averaged two, and the other team has averaged two. So they're not going to be launching there. They only do that drastically if they need it, and it's a close ball game, and they need a three-point shot maybe in the last 30 seconds or so. Rebound to Sellers, 105 to go in the ball game. 
See, give Detroit credit. Their transition defense has been excellent. They've been able to stop these guys. Nice steal that time by Lewis. Oh, here he is out. Rodman for the dunk. Oh, he didn't do it. Wanted to. Play a game. What a and the playoffs. They well, they're an excellent 25. home court team. They're 30 and 11 on the season, and uh, they usually play big here. This is a disappointment from them, not just because they, they lost the ball game, but because of the way they lost it. They had the open shots. They could not knock them down. And then the frustration of the turnovers in the first no, no. half, uncharacteristic of the ball club. There's Billy Lambeer. They're very happy to come in here and steal the first one. 19 seconds to go. Chuck Nevin at 7-5 gets into the game. Has the ball almost stolen away. Nice pass. It sure was. But then Mike Brown comes out of there with the ball for Chicago. Final shot of the game for Pippen. Got yes. it. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's it. 101 to 79. Chuck Daly's team takes a two to one series edge with game four to be played here tomorrow. Michael Jordan had to a playoff low of 24 points on eight of 20 from the field. Right now, let's go to James Brown back in control room 43. All right, Vern. And joined now by Billy Packer. Billy, Billy. what does Denver have to do? Scholarship will go to the Multiple Sclerosis Society. 19 points, 11 assists, Isaiah, and two steals. It's no coincidence we have him here with us. How significant was it for you fellas to hit those eight of your first 10 shots and get that quick lead? It was very important. Uh, you know, throughout the whole playoffs, we've struggled offensively. We've been playing really good defensively, but we haven't put together a good offensive game. When we came out and made our first couple of shots, uh, we knew we had a good day coming.